Hey, thanks for checking out the Solid Verbal. Now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel for college football content all off season long. The echoes were awoken <laughs> last week. The thunder shaken down from the sky. Another member of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish taking his talents to the southeast. Tyler Buckner. Yeah. My guy. The real TB12 going south. Former four-star. He was Notre Dame's starting quarterback. He had a cup of coffee as a starting quarterback last season. Got hurt. Yep. Got hurt. Yep. Um, I was all in on Buckner until I wasn't very suddenly. I've watched the kid. I like the kid. I do have to ask, though, with him now signing on to be one of the quarterbacks in the running for, I guess, the starter. I can't even believe I'm saying that at Alabama. Mm -hmm. Does Alabama have a quarterback problem? A quarterback problem going into relative, 2022. Relative to a program that has had Jalen Hurts and <laughs> Tua Tonga-Vailoa and Mac Jones and Bryce, Bryce Young, Young yep. consecutively, yes, it is unusual for Alabama to be in this position because there's always, we talked about this a couple shows ago, it's unusual for Alabama to be in this position where we're like, Oh, there's not really an obvious guy at the moment. Nobody really looked to have much more command in the, the A-Day game, the spring game for Alabama. I don't know how much of that game you watched. I watched the first half of that game uh, just to sort of see the poise and how they were using guys and see what the Tommy Reese offense would look like at Alabama. Looked a lot like the Tommy Reese offense at Notre Dame in that everything seemed difficult in the passing game, even completed <laughs> passes. There weren't a lot of just guys running free that they were schemed open because there was an option route and safety took a bad angle or something like that. Now, we're talking about Ty Simpson and Jalen Milrow throwing into the Alabama defense, which is difficult to do. But I still remember some Alabama spring games, some A-Day games where Bryce Young threw into that same defense and Tua threw into that same defense, and they were really good. Uh, even with the talent on the other side of the ball. Yeah. As it relates to Tyler Buckner, I don't think there's a clear guy for Alabama at the moment. He's familiar with Tommy Reese's offense. It's always good to have quarterback depth. There's always the possibility that when Ty Simpson or Jalen Moreau find out that they're not the guy, that they leave Alabama. There's always that possibility. No matter what they say or don't say publicly, there's always that possibility. And to have Tyler Buckner, who... Probably isn't a very good power five starting quarterback, especially at the top of the top of the top of the sport might be one of the best backup quarterbacks in the country. And we all know sometimes you need a backup quarterback. Jalen Monroe, who did he start against last year when Bryce Young went down? Arkansas, I want to say. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not yeah. easy to go and beat Arkansas on a moment's notice. So I, um, I'm okay with it. He knows the offense. He and the coordinator are familiar with it. Uh, in terms of, the guys that are there right now in Milrow and Ty Simpson, neither one seemed to have great command. I thought Ty Simpson was a little bit late. There was kind of, not a hitch on his throw, but it was just like he delayed a little bit going downfield a little bit more than he should have. Receivers didn't really seem open, didn't really seem open, so they were squeezing in a lot, um, even when they were completing passes. I just thought they looked tentative and were going underneath and weren't sure of the timing of going downfield. And so well, I don't know if that's a Tommy Reese thing. I've long been a Reese skeptic. But I, I maybe I'm alone on that island. I just uh, I can understand that if somebody is not really standing out at a place like Alabama with the line that should be in front of them, with the receiving and running, you know, Justice Haynes looks really good uh, as a running back next to them. If somebody's not standing out, bring in competition. It's an amazing luxury to have if you're a place like Alabama. I mean, a so a couple thoughts here. Yeah, bouncing around my head. Um, when Buckner announced his intention to transfer, when he threw his name in the portal, I texted with three or four friends of mine about this, asking, Who, where do you think he's going? Northwestern, San Diego State, yeah. And everybody had heard the Alabama rumor, and I don't know if anybody really bought it. Right. It didn't seem logical. This is the same team Tommy Reese and Tyler Buckner that brought you a five point home loss to Marshall last year. So the thought now that he's going to step in and be effective against SEC defenses, better competition, maybe a better supporting cast, but still um, that to me is a stretch. And I'd love to be proven wrong because I was all in on Buckner when Notre Dame recruited him. But after seeing him play, you want to talk about hitches in your throws. 
I can show you Tyler Buckner's mechanics. Right. Um, that to me, it's it's an incredible stretch. And so I think my broader point is, and I said this to some of the same friends that I texted with, if Tyler Buckner is going to be the guy for Alabama, bet the under on Alabama. Or bet the bet the under on number of games started by Tyler Buckner, because I I just don't see that being a tenable long-term solution throughout 2023 or beyond. It's just not going to happen. Now, been wrong many times before. But sure. Just don't see it. I, I don't see that happening. Um, I know you've also been the Tommy Reese skeptic between us. Yeah. Um, but I also have asked the question most recently on the show that we did with Pete Sampson a couple weeks ago, but we'll go back and listen to it. I asked the question, is Tommy Reese good? Is, is he a good offensive coordinator? Yeah. I think the consensus answer to that question has been, well, you think Nick Saban's going to hire a dud for his offensive of course. coordinator? He's the best, best coach of all time. No, and I'm sure there have been overtures and, from NFL teams sure. and all that and look, stuff. Yeah. Saban has done enough at this juncture to earn the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But. <laughs> Hold on. I love you positioning this to be like, who am I to question Nick Saban? But. On the other hand. <laughs> but. Yeah. He's not always right. That's true. He's not, he's not all. He's still human. He's not infallible. There were some Bill O'Brien offenses that I were not, that I were, that I was not a fan of watching. Yeah. So, you, you know, to th- this idea that Nick Saban is the best coach of all time is is true. But something else that could be true is Tommy Reese has never been in this high profile type of situation before. And there were moments of his offense at Notre Dame that left a little to be desired. And also the best quarterback that he developed in his time was Ian Book. Well, I don't think it was that good. He was a good college quarterback. Right. But, you know, he did a lot with one read and if it's not there then just run so i Mm -hmm. just um i'm very skeptical about this and i would look for alabama to add another quarterback fourth quarterback okay i i i think they should i i'd be very well they have eli holstein so they've got four they they had a i get it but just add a fifth i don't know just add somebody else yeah because i don't i don't know if any of the guys in the roster are the answer so this this scenario means that it's not crazy to assume that at some point, Tommy Reese and Tyler Buckner, who have a relationship, who know each other, at some point had a phone call or a text message you know, exchange that included something like, bro, you can beat these guys out. Right? Yeah. I bro, think so. there's no reason you can't win this job. I think so. And that's, that's what troubles me, Dan. It troubles me for as, Alabama. As an Alabama viewer. Yeah, I just, I, you know, I'm not rooting against Alabama. I'm not even rooting against Buckner or Reese or Saban or any of these guys. Right. But I don't know. Buckner had a shot. Right. He had a shot. And he wasn't going to beat out Sam Hartman, who's very good, frankly, who I was worried would go to Alabama with Tommy Reese and didn't. Right. Um, He's not going to beat out Hartman. His spring game was kind of a mess. Yeah. We've been waiting holding our breath for Tyler Buckner to become the Tyler Buckner that was a four-star out of Southern California, originally from your part of the world now, and um, brought with him a ton of, a ton of promise. We, we just have not seen that. And how, how he's many, really fast. Right. He's really fast. He can run. And maybe they recruited him for that. He's got a wonky throwing motion. And I'm just not sure he's going to be the dude at Alabama. I would be, I just, to me, that's a stretch. How many schools have continually hit on at least having a good quarterback consecutively. That it, you have an unbroken chain of good quarterbacks. Oklahoma um Oklahoma's been very good with it. Oklahoma's be- been very good with it. Dylan Gabriel was okay, I'll give Dylan Gabriel the benefit of the doubt, but it was certainly a dip from where they yeah. were, a noticeable dip where Alabama really sure. hasn't had that. That that may have been more scheme Sure. Then, then player, An but injury, sure. Yeah, I, uh, I'll give you that. It's kind of at this moment, Ohio State, no, Clemson. I think that chain was broken these past couple of years. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't know how. Like USC had it for a while, kind of, but then yeah. you get into like the Cody Kessler. Like it, it, it sort of faded. USC faded. Like how many schools have that unbroken chain of really good quarterbacks? Oregon lost it. They had a great chain going, but they lost it. I think pre-Herbert. Um, and then it's tough to keep it going. Well. It's tough to keep it going. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, we could rack our brains for hours. But here. yeah, so this is this is the unique situation you're talking about with Alabama. That oh. Tommy Reese on the ground had some sort of exchange with Tyler Buckner that said, you don't win the job. You can, these guys are not crazy good. 